Hey guys, I'm back in my shop. Uh, I haven't been out here much lately. I'm usually in the garage uh, working on some other stuff in there. But I'm back out here in my shop and I'm going to try to do a build video. Um, the other day I had a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Keith Moon from... Man, did you hear what that guy just said? He said Keith Moon when I met Ken Moon, the Moon Pie Creations. Uh, sent me a request and asked me to cut him some of these wedges uh, for a wedgie sled. So I made a couple, uh, actually I made uh, one out of half inch MDF and then made another one uh, out of half inch plywood. Um, and while I was cutting his, I went ahead and cut a couple for myself. Um, so today I'm going to try to do, um, I'm going to try to build a wedgie sled that's by uh, Jerry Bennett. I'm going to put links down to uh, his, uh, I guess, his YouTube channel and his website, uh, Seg Easy and all that. Because uh, this is a really cool little um, sled that allows you to do uh, very accurate segments for, uh, for segmented turning, whether you're doing bowls or whatever. So uh, I've recently uh, started doing a little turning. And since I made these for Ken the other day, I thought, what the heck, I might as well make myself a sled and, and give a crack at, at that too. So stay tuned. I've got me uh, a blank all fired up here and uh, we're ready to start this up. <laughs> stuff makes a mess all right I got got the cut down and as soon as it started uh, parting out this second uh, fence over here I noticed right away there was something wrong and of course you know it's one of those ah you idiot moments um, I was trying to squeeze this in I'm gonna bring the camera well, let me just go ahead and bring the camera in closer so y'all can see what I'm talking okay about. right here that you can see this piece is correct it has these two holes that are in the center of this uh, this fence and you notice these holes are off and what I was trying to do I was trying to squeeze in you can see I've got a little notch in this scrap material here so I was trying to squeeze this in to make it fit in about 20 inches and when I grabbed this part to scoot it over apparently I failed to grab the holes I should have had them grouped uh, and I didn't but uh, I haven't moved my zero or anything I haven't taken it off the clamps so before I pull it out, I'm going to go ahead and fix those holes real quick. Okay, I went in and fixed the program and added those holes here. And I'm not really concerned about these holes. They're just going to be extra holes. And you can see if you look, uh, well, let me back this up a little bit. You can see this is a piece of material that's left over from uh, part of an old treadmill that I took apart. Uh, so there's a about a half a hole that I cut through there. and This thing already had some holes in it, but they're not gonna affect uh, anything as far as this goes, because th these are the two sides that are nice and straight. Uh, and of course, everything for the, the fences should be fine. So uh, next, before I pull this out of here, I think I'm gonna measure and see if I can go ahead and put just a little bit of a, a dado in there for the uh, miter slot. I'm going to try to measure. You have to do this, you know, when you're making one of these, you have to make it kind of custom to your table saw because all those uh, dimensions from the um, miter slot to the uh, edge of the blade, you know, are a little bit different from saw to saw. So uh, I'm going to try to measure and see if I can get something uh, that will work in helping me locate that um, um, miter strip or miter slot strip when I uh, when I glue it in there help me keep it straighter okay so I've got a, a miter slot stuck in here I, I cut this strip over there on the table saw kind of snuck on it uh, snuck up on it to get it nice and close and I think I've got a really snug fit in fact I'm not even going to pound that all the way in there just yet but uh, that uh, that's going to be a really snug fit there I uh, made this about 3 eighths deep, so by the time I 
push it all the way down there should be just a little bit sticking up and uh, of course I'm gonna put the drill the hole and put the little slot like Jerry recommends in his plans uh, where you can uh, if you have any slop in the miter slot you can uh, run a screw in there and that will if you put the, the the notch or just basically a saw blade cut right over here to one side it will move that side and uh, take all the the slop out so it's just a really cool design I gotta thank Jerry Bennett for uh, for coming up with that uh, it's, it's really cool I'm looking forward to getting this together so got it all done now I can uh, looks like I've got all my mistakes fixed so I can now take it out of the clamps here and cut it out and we'll see how this thing's going to go together okay I got the uh, Jerry Bennett wedgie sled all finished here uh, it turned out pretty good uh, I did take these back over to the bandsaw and trim a little off there so I get a little bit more space there and it's also kind of making me second guess because I was going from memory from watching that video and I don't know better than to do that but uh, I made these holes uh, two inches off of a center line here and now I'm beginning to wonder if maybe they were two and a half off the center line but it just seemed a little tight there but I don't know that that'll probably work okay um, but uh, yeah, just to show folks how these work you take your CNC cut wedgie um, this is one that is 30 degrees for uh, 12 segments and you just stick it in here like this place this up the back pull these uh, fences over till they're till they're snug against this wedgie tighten them down and then take your wedgie back out and then you're ready to take this over to the table saw and cut your um, cut your different angles and you can see that I had once I run this through the table saw that'll also nip that off too because this sets right up against the blade I got a pretty decent measurement when I made that miter slot uh, uh, little thing there so I think that's going to work pretty good uh, that's going to do it for this video and also for those folks who follow me pretty regularly and, and are wondering why I'm out here uh, using this uh, old sidewinder machine it's because I'm just trying to get a few more miles out of this one. I've had this machine well over 10 years. It's been a great machine, but I think it's time to uh, pack it up and uh, retire it. I'm going to be filling up this space with something else uh, very soon, so you'll want to watch for some build videos on that. And I guess that's all I've got uh, for today. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up while you're at it. So thank you all for watching and we'll talk to you later.